extreme value theorem. If f element of c, which is in the closed interval a, b, then c sub 1 and c sub 2, which is in the closed interval a, b, exists with f c sub 1 less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to f of c sub 2 for all x element of the closed interval a, b. In addition, if f is differentiable on a, b, then the numbers c sub 1 and c sub 2 occur either at the endpoints of the closed interval a, b, or where f, which is the first derivative of f, is 0. This means that the numbers c sub 1 and c sub 2 must be in the closed interval a, b, wherein f of x is greater than or equal to the value of f of c sub 1 and it is less than or equal to the value of f of c sub 2 which is it is for all x which is in the closed interval a b in addition to this if f is differentiable on a b then the numbers c sub 1 and c sub 2 must occur either at the endpoints of the closed interval a b and it must be the first derivative of the function of f must be 0. To have a clearer understanding of this theorem, let us have an example. Example. Find the maximum and minimum values of f of x equal to x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus 1 on the interval negative 2, 2. Solution. First, we know that this function of f of x is continuous on the closed interval negative 2 and 2. Then knowing this, we, we need to have the first derivative of this function. We have the given function which is f of x equal to x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus 1. Finding the first derivative, we have f of f prime of x equal to 4x cubed minus 9x squared. Then after this, we need to find the critical points or critical values by simply equating the first derivative into 0. Therefore, it is equal to 0. Then solving for x, we have 4x cubed minus 9x squared equal to 0. x squared times 4x minus 9 equal to 0. So we have x squared equal to 0 and 4x minus 9 which is equal to 0. Solving for x, we have for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 9 over 4. Then we have two values of x. We have 0 and 9 over 4. Then we need to determine these points must be in the close interval negative 2 and 2. We know that 9 over 4 is not in the close interval negative 2, 2. While x equal to 0 is in the interval negative 2, 2. Therefore, therefore the only critical point is x equal to 0. But the question is, Find the maximum and the minimum values of this function on the closed interval negative 2 and 2. So we need to find f negative 2 equals to negative 2 raised into 4 minus 3 x cubed minus 1. Or this is negative 2. This is equal to, this must be equal to 39. Then f of 2, it is equal to 2 raised into 4 minus 3, 2 raised into 3 minus 1, it is equal to negative 9. Therefore, the minimum points or the minimum function value of this function is negative 9 at x equal to 2, while the maximum value is 39 at point negative 2.
or x equal to negative 2. Okay.